realize it or not, the shade of blue that you're using for your sky colors and your landscapes really sets the mood for your painting. In some paintings, I've chosen to make the sky very light so that the foreground could be more predominant. In other paintings, I've had very dark, dramatic skies to set a more somber mood. Some paintings, I had a very light, pale sky with wispy clouds. For the longest time, I had ultramarine blue on my palette. After all, that's what all the other artists had on their palettes. So I was using ultramarine and white for almost all of my skies. But once I got set loose in an art store and started realizing all the different blues that were available, I started doing swatch boards and to my amazement, I realized that ultramarine, when you put it next to other sky colors, is very purple. And I was just amazed at all the different combinations you could get, not just using things out of the tube, but combining them with other blues. I really encourage you to try that. Do some big boards in your office. One thing that you'll notice about blues, which is true of every color, is that it has a bias. In other words, it tends to lean a little purple or a little green or a little gray, but you seldom see just pure blues. This is a painting called Rushing, and I have a YouTube video out on how I did this painting, but I've used my very favorite blue sky color on this, and it's cobalt blue. And the reason is, to my eye, cobalt is the purest blue. It doesn't lean green, it doesn't lean gray, it doesn't lean purple. I love that you can get a really strong, intense sky up at the top of your painting. And then just by adding more white to it, you can get very soft, um, grayed out sky as you get closer to the horizon. It's just perfect. It just makes my soul jump every time I use it. So. Uh, as you experiment with your cloud colors, I encourage you, if you don't already have a tube of cobalt, go invest in that. I think you'll love it.